Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. It is going fantastically. These rivets are just coming out great. I'm getting pretty good at this stuff after a couple hundred hours. <laughs> Got to start getting used to it. I had to turn my chair around this way because there's a movie fixing to come on. I got to watch. The Frankenstein Syndrome. Tell me that don't sound like a good one. This is this woman scientist invents a serum that brings the dead back to life, but it quickly becomes apparent why it's not such a good idea. <laughs> Sounds like a zombie movie to me. Gotta love them zombie movies. Oh, Carrie, I picked your <laughs> Carrie from the Cheyenne Rocky Mountain River Bottom Volunteer Fire Department. I don't know why that sticks in my head. <laughs> But you're the one who started it, brother. You told me the other day your computer screen was all dirty, so I had to use you for an example. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, I'm going to just put these on like this. Um, there's nothing else I could be done to It's already a nice tight fit. It's on the bottom of the plane, man. You know, if anyone. Like Lauren Dragalis used to tell me. If people's going to look at your plane that close and get on their back and crawl under it, it's time to step on their head. You know what I mean? Only time they're going to see the bottom of this plane when it's screaming by about 300 mile an hour. <laughs> no. no, guys, no more Bondoing. I got these done though. I'm putting these on and and doing these as I go. I'm gonna do the same with the gear doors. These I just had to sand smooth. And remember, I'm gonna put my black uh, sealer coat on this stuff too. And that's gonna give that silver a really nice base. I don't know why that silver needs black for a base, but it'll come out really good with this black base coat, guys. Oh, and Steve O'Blaster, the rocket scientist. <laughs> yeah, we got rocket scientists sitting around watching Bob TV, guys. Can you believe it? <laughs> but you don't know about my wreck? The car wreck? Is that what you're talking about? When the trash truck about killed me? That's the reason I'm here right now. Not off on some cruise ship. No, man, I was uh, picking my daughter up for school and they ain't trash truck, one of the big ones, you know, that picked the trash up like this. Uh, hit me in my driver's door. Pushed me about a block. Well, not quite a block, but then I finally ended up going over the curb and into a light pole. Yeah, it dang near killed you, buddy, Bob. Sure did. Broke my neck. Broke my back. I had a jamming old tile business. I did uh, tile cruise ships for Royal Caribbean. Trixie, what do you got? I'm chasing the bug. I did uh, cruise ships for Royal Caribbean. I had like eight employees. Trixie, come here. Trixie, come here. And uh, I did big apartment complexes here, big year-long projects. Then the old boy I uh, did these cruise ships for had me doing hotels around the country, big hotels. They, you know, three, four-month jobs. I'd send a crew to Miami to hop on a cruise ship. Send the crew to my, I had my brother 
and uh, he was in charge. I'm sending them to South Carolina and keeping a job going here. Or two. I used to do those hotels. You know, and all them old boys are related. <laughs> you know, I'd do one hotel and he'd call his cousin and have him ready for another one. And I had this one guy working for me, Herb Grimes. Okay, I can tell you straight up, he was a meth head. You know, but he didn't do it at work, and you know what he did on the weekends was his business, you know, and he told me one day, he goes, Bob, every Friday's a holiday to me, and who am I to tell him what he can and can't do, you know? But all as I know, is that guy was a carpet-laying fool. He didn't even want no help. Uh, you know, <laughs> he said they'd just get in his way. I'd drop him off at these hotels and take the rest of the crew to uh, the apartments or something, you know. And I'd tell old Herb, you know, and I wouldn't touch these jobs, man. I would just drop Herb off every day and make a thousand bucks a week profit on it. So I'd tell old Herb, I'd say, uh, you knock out the rest of this wing this week, Herb, and I'll give you a thousand dollar bonus on top of his $150 a day pay. And he'd do it. And I'd just bank it, you know. That's a job I didn't have to touch. And putting a thousand dollars a week in my pocket from it. Yeah, the wife never had to work. Built this house. That's a pretty jam of business. But see, it's just something that couldn't be ran without me. You know, I needed to run these jobs, you know, because something gets messed up, it just cost me thousands and thousands of dollars and still have to pay the help, you know. It just, unless I'm there. Plus, the people are paying for me. You know, they can hire people out of the paper for eight bucks an hour if that's what they wanted. You know, so. Kind of have to just fold up the business. You know, there's just no way. I was out, down. They told me I'd probably never walk again. So you guys can thank Waste Management for Bob TV. <laughs> It kind of blows, you know. But I really, I mean, for years, guys, <laughs> it took me a long time before I could just do anything. And still, I, I have problems. I have issues from time to time. Mainly with the spasms. We're standing in line for a long time, standing on my feet for a long time. I just take it, you know. Because I love this stuff so much, I gotta do something. I can't sit around. I'm not a sit around type guy. Yeah, I just had my business, everything just ripped. Just ripped from me. Taken away in a heartbeat. You know, it can happen to anybody. I was just a victim. And 
this very structural way. That's my story, guys. I looked up just as that truck was coming. You know, right away it kind of flung my car sideways. You know, and he, I don't think he's seen me because, you know, straight down you can't see what, you know, that truck was so big and I don't think he's seen me. But when he was pushing me, my car just went sideways and I, that tire started coming through my window and I seen that. I tried to lay all the way over but the dang seat belt kind of held me up. And it was such a long crash, you know. I thought, I seen that truck coming through my window, man, and I just thought, oh my God, who's gonna, who's gonna tell my kids I'm dead? You know, you got, it's crazy, but you got, you think, you got time to think about that stuff. As he was pushing me, you know, I thought, like, when is this wreck going to be over? You know, it just seemed like it took like 20 minutes because I had all these thoughts in my head, you know. When is it going to be over? Who's going to tell my kids I'm dead? You know, and it's just, there was just nothing I could do. There was no staring out of it. There was just absolutely nothing. And I was just driving down the road. He ran the red lights. Scary deal. I got, I'm going to have, I got this all planned out. I'm going to have all day tomorrow to finish these rivets. I have to paint the silver tomorrow night. And then Calvin is going to come over uh, Wednesday and help me put them big old paint mask on. I sure don't want to mess them up trying to do it by myself. Bam! Oh, can't forget this road. I got all day tomorrow to finish these rivets. I'm gonna make it a little super late one tonight. It's almost midnight. And I gotta watch that Frankenstein zombie movie. So I'm gonna flip this wing over. I 
I'll give it, give most of it done tonight. Don't panic, Ollie. I'm going to get there. We're on the home stretch, baby. One just painted piece of cake. And Calvin's also, Calvin's going to help me this weekend, too. Mount some servos and, and uh, get everything ready. Oh, I know a couple more little spots. to see the ones you miss the road. You just kind of get snow blinds, you know. Rivet blind. Rivet blindness. Yep. There's one here, man. But sometimes on one of these rows. Frankenstein zombie movie. Bam. There you guys go. Half a wing done. I'm going to keep old trucking. So I got to get them tanks done too tomorrow. So I got to get as much done on this so I can tonight. <laughs>